Hello YouTube! Have you all seen the Pokemon leaks? Because Nintendo's getting worse somehow. <laughs> Let's go! What's up trainers? This is the Act Man here. And today, Pokemon is the greatest franchise ever. I have of so course. many fond memories of <gasps> Sapphire! Capturing all the pocket monsters. Oh my god. And like me. Oh my god, YouTubes. If you didn't know, I just I just ordered myself a new 3DS XL. The cartridge reader is broken, so I have to return it, unfortunately. But I'm I'm gonna play the old the, all the old Pokemon games again. I'm so happy. I'm so looking forward to it. YouTube, did you know that the <laughs> Hey guys, did you know in terms of you should continue purchasing all Pokemon related products online or at your local retailers. Also, be on the lookout for any games, products that might be plagiarizing this incredible IP. Oh, oh. Who would have ever seen that one coming? Wait, you bought a 3DS? I thought it was an NDS. It's the new Nintendo 3DS. What? What do you mean? We can't have anything tarnishing oh, the beloved loud, Pokemon brand. Be sure to report these criminals to your local authorities and. Yep. Oh, oh god! Oh god! Uh, keep keep purchasing Hide. Pokemon products, please. <laughs> please help! Help Take me! A shot. Help me! They're right Take outside! Help! Shot. Shit! The important thing to know is that they're fighting at him. <laughs> For God's sake! What is going on? <laughs> Dodge. Well, Pokemon Sex is canon, apparently. Not only that, pedophilia! Um. Yes, pedophilia. Um, gaslighting. Um, bestiality. <laughs> Kidnapping. Um, R wording. <laughs> All of that. All of that is canon. Well, not really, but you know. The bullet there. What's Hook up, everybody? Yet, yeah. This is the Act Man here. What's up? And today, Nintendo's assassins just tried to execute me. But since they only brought one round, we're kind of at a stalemate. Pace up. They're still sitting outside my house as I record this. And the reason oh, no. there is I intend to talk about their recent lawsuit. And oh no. Uh, and since we're reacting to the video, uh, does that mean we are target to Chad? Hide! Take cover! And the big Pokemon leaks. Nintendo? Recent lawsuit? <laughs> Which one, Act Man? <laughs> Good one. Yeah, right? It Good seems one. like Nintendo is always on the warpath when it comes to litigation. Obviously, any company has a right to protect their IPs and their brand. Yeah. But I think we'd all agree Nintendo is overzealous. Let's be real, they guys. Are. Nintendo would sue an orphanage if they found out an Italian kid named Luigi lived there. They have a long, <laughs> long history of taking down YouTube videos that have gameplay of Nintendo games. They this, sued. Mo this is just so fucking ridiculous. Nintendo sues modded hardware and I slash Switch Pirates moderator Arc. They sued the Reddit moderator directly. Oh my god! How do they keep getting away with it? Nintendo legal team is very trigger happy. They are. They really are. Bro. Otters and destroyed channels that archive music where Nintendo doesn't make that music readily available. Would you believe it? I was going through the history books and it turns out they also tried to sue Blockbuster. Huh? No, but the making the music readily available, it's still within their copyright, right? Like, the music? I must say, that's copyright issues. The gameplay? That's fair use. In but order to, Blockbuster? pun intended, block them from renting out video games to people. Nintendo what? later sued Blockbuster again for reprinting manuals and the two settled out of court. What the fuck? The point is, Nintendo's always been insatiable and out for- Fair use doesn't exist in Japan. Yeah, I guess it doesn't. I guess it doesn't, but... Yeah, come on, get with the times, you know? This reminds me of how the military of Japan took over the, during the Intel war period of the WW... What? How? Weren't they also against sharing reselling the games, or was that expo? 
Thanks, Amani. Thanks for chiming in. <laughs> I think that was Nintendo. Blood when it comes to litigation, and that hasn't changed in the last 35 years. And recently, they declared that they were suing Pocket Pair, the developers of Pal World. We all love Nintendo's games and what they've created over the last 40 years. And some folk are so passionate that they make their own non-profit fan creations. They try to- Speaking of, we're gonna play Infinite Fusion. We are going to play Infinite Fusion. I just gotta figure out at what point. Maybe next month or something. But yeah, we're, we're gonna play Infinite Fusion. Just so everyone's aware, if you, if you wanna show up for the streams. We're gonna we're gonna name the Pokemon after the uh, after subscribers. So if you sub, you get to um, be one of my Pokemon. Preserve games or emulate them. Uranium was and Power oh, World so was cool. One of those Never games played it. That really seemed to take inspiration from Pokemon and iterate on that formula in a way that Pokemon simply hasn't, or at least hasn't pushed far enough. The bottom line that is, is true. that Nintendo has a. That is true. Like, when I initially saw Palward, like, the first trailer of it, I was very excited for it. Personally, I was very excited for it. But then disappointed me in Palward is how they actually just blatantly stole the designs. Like, they literally blatantly stole the designs of a lot of their pals. They literally just took two Pokemon and meshed them together and called it their own uh, thing. Which is, to me, that's disappointing. I don't- I don't wanna- I- I- No, it's just disappointing. I don't wanna play that game anymore. And I was very much looking forward to this game. This really left a bit of- bit of- bit of taste in my mouth, though. A terrible reputation when it comes to preserving their games. Making them easily oh, available. Yeah. No, we're not gonna re-release this game. If you wanna play it, pay $500 for it on oh eBay. God. But- Yeah, that's- what I'm doing right now. Not $500, but I'm buying secondhand games right now and the secondhand consoles, man. There's just no other way to get get that shit now. There just isn't, which is ridiculous. Like, make the games available on an, like, on an, on your console emulator. Like, you have the technology. The Switch can run VGA games. The Switch can run Game Boy Color games and normal Game Boy games. It can just make it possible. And it also can run DS games, by the way. It can. People have played DS games on the Switch. A Moyet Switch, nonetheless, but it is possible. So why don't you just give them to us, man? Don't pirate it. Go don't you dare fucking pirate it. Emulation? More like cease and desist. They use yes, exactly. They do use emulation at their museum. Windows emulation. They do. Which is... Quite funny, to be honest. They emulated their own games onto the PC to portray it in their museum. Quite funny. Quite, quite funny. I saw that too, yeah. Especially considering years later, Nintendo shut down Metroid 2A, 2MI, and hired the creator of the fan game to work on two handheld... Really? Damn. Man, that was really bad, even for me. <laughs> so many fans see fit to take matters into their own hands to preserve the games they love. And Nintendo may be... I would be all for, like, pirating games that are no longer readily available. I have no issue personally with it, but legally I will not do it. Legally, I will not do it, because I don't- I don't want to get in trouble with the law. <laughs> I want to be real with you, chat. I don't want to get in trouble with law, I ain't gonna pirate jack shit. I'm literally buying the console secondhand. I'm literally buying the old game secondhand. Like... Yeah. Yeah. You guys do you, but I ain't getting in legal trouble. <laughs> Legally, your government probably gives more of a shit than mine. Germany does very much give a shit about it. A, um... Not a relative, but someone my stepfather knew got fucking jailed for pirating. So, yeah. 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 So, no. I ain't... I ain't... I ain't like, you guys do you, but I'm a, I must stay away from it for legal reasons. <laughs> ...within their legal rights to take action against people. It just sucks that it has to be this way, you know? But there's a lot to talk about with this Power World Nintendo lawsuit. And this is yet another story in what happens when games get leaked. If you watch my reviews of Power World <laughs> Scarlet and Violet, you know that I've felt disillusioned with Pokemon as of late. I feel like- I'm gonna be real with you guys, I had no issues playing- uh, Like, I had no bucks 
uh, playing Scarlet and Violet. Well, I played Violet anyway. I had no issues, and I played Violet when it came out. I pre-ordered that bitch, okay? I love Pokemon, okay? I love Pokemon. I pre-ordered Violet. I played it right away when it came out. I had no issues apart from at bigger areas where there were like a little bit of frame drops, but I had no none of these big bugs that people had. The series has gotten ridiculously stagnant. It's ten times easier to beat a Pokemon game now than it was when that I. That is was also a kid. true. That is also true. They have like gotten way really, easier. Really lazy. So I'm sure I'm not the only one who found the formula and style of Power World so refreshing in like an insane kind of way. Let's go. It does. It does. <laughs> It really does, and for me, it's really a shame that they stole the designs. Otherwise, I would have played it if it wasn't just for the blade and stealing. Sounds like your copy was fun on like the actual wide release. Maybe. I did have the um um um. I I do have it physically, but I did update it. Obviously, otherwise, uh, uh I couldn't have played it. I think. No, well, I think I could, but I did update it. Three. Let's go slavery. Power World still sits as the game with the third highest all-time peak concurrent player count on Steam, which is no easy feat to accomplish. But these days, the game has only retained a mere fraction of that audience. Regardless, I mean, I thought the game does, isn't like doesn't Power World have like a, a goal to finish, like a certain amount of content to finish, and after you're done with it, there's not really much else to do. From what I understood, like there's actually things to do in maybe like a story wise i said didn't play it so you power players you gotta tell me you guys gotta tell me and didn't they recently had like an update for it so like literally there's raids in it all right all right all right but like usually it's like the game has its like period of when it's played and then that just goes down because people are just kind of done with the game, you know? When people are kind of done with the game and then with, when there's new content, people come back to the game. That, that's just the lifespan of a game. That's just normal. It was really fun, unique, and that it had that sort of innovation I've been hoping to see from the Pokemon franchise. Nintendo and the Pokemon company, on the other hand, were not happy at all with the success of Power World. Yeah. It should have been me, not him. Which again was developed by Pocket Pair, which is also another Japanese company. And that might be important because maybe the lawsuit Nintendo is happening is in Japan. To get rid of some of their internal competition. Now we all saw the similarities between some of the pals and some famous Pokemon. Um, yeah. Now I don't. I don't <laughs> like, you can't look at these two and tell me that. It's not, can I copy your homework? Sure, but make it different. You can't tell me that that's not the case. Yeah, I, do, I don't see this one. I don't see this one. Pikachu? Nah, nah. Spark it came first. Some of this shit really is blatant. Like, let's just flip the... <laughs> it's literally the face! Teeth upside down. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with the teeth and the eyes. Even the trident, you know? They had certain color schemes that were very similar. <laughs> Lucario and Anubis. So yeah, looking Ooh. at these comparisons, I think we all expected Nintendo and the Pokemon company to clap back with some kind of lawsuit. Little did we realize it wouldn't be for copyright infringement, but a patent infringement. Yeah, this is That's what I'm right. so surprised Nintendo of. Nintendo isn't suing Honestly, because of the- They still might sue them, like moving forward. They still might. We shall see what happens. These designs being, you know, copied if you guys remember there were allegations that pocket pair had literally ripped pokemon assets they're just, and just like look at this skin over it they, and made they literally did changes. but here's the thing if nintendo can sue someone for copyright infringement they're going to nintendo would yes. sue themselves if given the opportunity <laughs> so <it's strange> <laughs> It's visually distinct enough that they can't go for the designs. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe that, that won't be the issue then, I guess. Liga Mindset did a video about the patent violations. He did a good job covering them. Okay, but he's talking about it from an American standpoint. The thing is, you guys gotta um, remember that both of their companies, their headquarters are both seated in Japan. This is handled by 
Japanese law, by the Japanese, um, fucking judgment system. Taking your glasses? Why? What the heck? That we haven't learned the exact reason or what exact patent Nintendo is suing Pocket Pair for. But many oh, yeah. have speculated on it's the reason likely, why. It's likely, but they said the Pokeball. Pocket Pair might be infringing on? I have a few theories. A few game Game theories! theories. I, can't do that anymore. I heard some people no. talk that maybe they have a patent on, like, Spigatata. catching critters with a ball. I don't know how you patent a mechanic like that, but if they can do it, Nintendo and Game Freak will. I can't That's really true. think of many other games where you catch things and then they With live a in ball. a ball. Yeah, I can't really think of anything else. The way other. the ball opens as a mechanic in video games, I think Power World's balls open in two halves, while Pokeballs have a latch and open like this. So I don't know if that's the case. Maybe Pocket Pair can get by on a technicality. I really don't know. Regardless, I think most people- I also like putting things on my balls. <laughs> oh, bro, I'll pick on your balls. What the fuck? We're rooting for Pocket Pair to come out on top in this scenario, given that they're going up against giant evil corporation. Now in this PC Gamer article, they interviewed somebody who's a patent lawyer who basically said that Nintendo is taking a pretty big risk pursuing this lawsuit. Are uh, they? It doesn't hold up. If they what? Don't win, there's a chance they might lose that patent. Now, I'm no expert in oh. patents. I understand why they are a thing. And sometimes a company creates something that's very unique and they want to retain all rights and control of it. In yeah, the realm sure. Of video games, however, it seems like patents only serve to stifle creativity in the. Yeah, to me, with a lot of things, like some people patent very specific things. Like, the reason from what I heard that we don't have chat on loading screens in... It was either in WoW or in League of Legends, neither or. That we don't have chat between players on loading screens is because a company patented being able to chat during loading screens. And if a company wants to do that, they have to pay them. And this... Is where I think that's just fucking ridiculous, man. Like, it's like literally putting like a lock on creativity and shit. Like, bro, can we just let people innovate and make things better upon, like, can we just let people innovate upon things instead of just like putting shit behind a fucking lock? I think some com uh, company patented minigames during loading screens as well. Really? Jesus, greed over innovation? Literally, though, yeah. That's literally companies. You can't have the rival system that Shadow of Mortar has since uh, Warner Bros. Has copyrighted that and only used it on those two games. <sighs> wow. Industry and limit what other developers are allowed to create. Remember how Warner Brothers patented that nemesis oh, there you go. from Shadow of Mordor? There you go. That system where you could fight different orc leaders and it was procedurally generated. It was like this really cool rival system and you could defeat the leadership of the orcs. This feature was super cool and unique. And it's an idea that should be allowed to be expanded upon and iterated on it should, by other yeah. developers. I mean, yeah. It's only been used in two games, and the rest of us gamers Ridiculous. are just left wondering how this system could have been brought to other franchises in other RPGs if that- I only played the, uh, a little bit of Shadow of Mortar. I didn't play Shadow of War yet. I only played a little bit of it, but I did like this mechanic. It was fun. Like, it's a fucking shame that on other games I'm not allowed to do this because a chick gets fucking put behind a lock. Ridiculous. So many games could have used that so well too. Yeah! Patton didn't exist. Imagine this. What if PUBG had successfully patented oh the my Battle God. Royale genre? Imagine like the Battle that. Royale game Fortnite game. wouldn't have existed. Or were able to do that at all. I mean, crazier things have happened. But what if they had also won their lawsuit against... Shadow of Mordor was so fun. I thought Mordor was an amazing game. Excellent was playing Shadow of Mordor at the moment, by the way. So, yeah, and he's only saying good things about it. Warframe has a similar system with Kuva, Liches, and Sister of Pavos. I don't- I, I never played a Warframe game. ...against Epic Games. And Fortnite was shut down. Imagine what life would be like if Fortnite was shut down. We wouldn't have Ninja! And if we didn't have Ninja, we wouldn't have... Uh... Mixer! And then, if we never had Mixer, we would have never had Kick! And if we never had Kick, well, that would have been a good thing. Yeah, I think- I think they should have patented it. Honestly, it definitely would have been a better 
timeline. You're all right. That would have honestly would have been a good time. Yeah. It would have been a good night time. If Fortnite was shut down, we would have had flying cars. You are right. Yeah. We, we missed it. We wouldn't have shouldn't lean in the game. <laughs> okay. In 2018, we would have lost this. Who <laughs> <laughs> was the Mr. Beast? Town in 2018, we would have lost this. Mr. Beast? No, I didn't know either! Get me out! And you wouldn't be able to play as Peter Griffin <laughs> and fight Goku over the Thanos gun. Honestly, though, that, that's, that's pretty based. I gotta, I gotta say, like, being able to play as Peter Griffin and fight Goku? Well, that was pretty cool. Uh, and I don't want to live in that world. Thankfully, we <laughs> don't. I think it's pretty obvious that if Nintendo and the Pokemon company had their way, if their wish was granted, Pal World would just be completely shut down and Pocket Pair would go bankrupt. But we need games like Pal World. We need games like Fortnite because... We do need games that do innovate on things that do remix the original formula so shit doesn't get stale because... That shit's just boring, you know? And big companies do need to have their competition, so they don't get lazy either. Because direct competition means that we win as consumers, because companies have to work harder to earn our money. Yeah. They have to make yeah. better products, innovate, yeah. and create something fresh and new that we're going to be interested in. By trying to find some legal loophole to take down Power World, I think it's pretty clear that Pokemon doesn't want competition. They don't want to make better games. And Pokemon has been the most static franchise, I think, in my lifetime. And yes, it yeah. is the most profitable, but it's not the most fun. I guess I just wish that Game Freak would work as hard as Nintendo's legal team does when it comes to making Pokemon games. <laughs> if I only. Digress. Isn't it strange that just a week or two after Nintendo filed a lawsuit against Pow World, there was a massive amount Here of we go. info leaked from Game Freak? This is impossible! And not I'm not gonna lie, the leaks, like actually seeing the um uh concept images for Auras, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, it that that's the reason why I felt so nostalgic and wanted to play again. That's why I ordered a new 3DS. That's why I ordered a 3DS. I it made me feel so nostalgic, especially because I never finished Omega Ruby. I finished the original Ruby and Sapphire, but never the, um, uh, uh, Omega. Now we're going to take a look at some of what leaks. What's going on with these leaks? <laughs> oh, giddy. Oh, sweet summer child, you'll see. <laughs> Typhlosion, here it is. There is no God. <laughs> he abandoned us the, the moment this leak was revealed. <gasps> this story is so effed up, by the way. I've read all the leaked stories from that fucking insane woman. That fucking insane woman that wrote, wrote fan fictions on her work PC. Oh my god. My childhood has been irreparably damaged by reading some of this crap. <laughs> it was why would so you bad. Why would you do this? Game Freak? More do you guys want a TLDR of the story? I don't know if he's gonna give a TLDR, but the TLDR is that um, there was a young girl um, across the river. There was a handsome looking man. Apparently the Typhlosion is able to shapeshift. Uh, motherfucker kidnapped her. Kidnapped her and gaslit her. Wiped her memory somehow. I don't fucking know. Um. Um. <laughs> it can't be as worse as those out of the worst Harry Potter erotic fan fictions collection. Um. You sure? I don't know this lap. And buff werewolf dragon fire man. Thanks for the follow. So, spare these young souls, bruv. We're all above eighteen here. We're all above eighteen here. So. 
So, Typhlosion kidnapped the girl, gaslit her, awarded her, she got pregnant and gave uh, birth to a child of Hess. Also, the Typhlosion got killed by her father. Hey, a little girl, you want some berries, Typhlosion, probably. <laughs> Also, there was uh, there's another story with octillery. There's another story with octillery. Um, so human Pokemon hybrid. Apparently, no. Apparently, it was uh, the child literally was a Typhlosion. Yeah, thanks for the follow, RHK. Oh, cute. Uh, but it was no. It was just a Pokemon. It was just a Pokemon. Like for some reason, the Pokemon gave birth to humans. But humans gave birth to Pokemon. Which is very weird. I read the one with Lapras, I read the one with Octillery. Octillery and Lapras are very similar to each other, but the Octillery one goes even worse. So the Octillery one goes like... Man goes to ocean... Fucks the shit out of an Octillery, busts in it, throws it back into the ocean, leaves, comes back the next day, does it again, leaves, comes back the next day, does it again, leaves, comes back the next day, does it again, Octillery gives birth to a fucking kid. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, man! Bro! Oh my god, the slacking one, that, that shit's messed up. The slacking one to, uh, for TLDR on that one, the slacking one. A uh, group of friends uh, mutilated and hurt uh, slackings and slackers, like the previous evolutions of it, like the sloth Pokemon. A cut off their ears, pierced out their eyes and shit like that. Um... Uh, one day, uh, the girl, the protagonist of the story, was alone. Uh, she found herself at a lake with people. <laughs> she found herself at a lake with the uh, with uh, the dead bodies of the Pokemon hanging from the trees. For some fucking reason, I don't know why. Uh, one of the Pokemon she did hurt uh, evolved, knocked her the fuck out. So she was unconscious. Then did the, uh, did the deed with her. She got pregnant. Um, he also evolved during that for some fucking reason. She actually got pregnant. Gave birth to a, a, a sl sloth Pokemon. I forgot its name again. The slacking pre-evolution. Uh, evolved and... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the the specifics of how and why. <laughs> it was written very weirdly. And Slackoff, that's the one. Slackoff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, gave birth to Slackoff. Uh, her friend group uh, was still hurting all the Slackoffs. Her friend group found her Slackoff baby on its own. Uh, killed the Slakov, she then found the corpse of the Slakov, took it, was fucking heartbroken, ran into the lake and fucking jumped into it and fucking drowned herself. And the moral of the story is, the friends realized, wait, this is actually bad! Go back and play Diamond and Pearl. References <laughs> to Pokemon human relationships that is true. were in there already. They so were! It's not surprising these were in the leaks. That is true, but nothing as fucking disturbing as these. No nothing as disturbing as these, man. So the moral of the story is like the friend said, Oh, wait, this is bad. Our friend and that Slackoff had a baby. So they were actually, uh, we shouldn't, like, uh, hurt Pokemon. And they no longer hurt the Pokemon. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. So there you go. Th those are the worst of the worst. I love the panzer. Thanks for the follow. We're like goon freak. What the hell is this shit? We're gonna get into it. Okay. Game freak really put the freak in game freak. <laughs> they really put the freaky in game freak. Okay. Now I'm not sure how much of this I can show you. The, the yeah. Assassins are still out showing. There. Eh, you know yeah, what, showing we'll, is not we'll look good. At some stuff. But apparently Game Freak had their servers hacked back in August, and they said that, that sensitive employee information had been leaked. But as of this moment, I don't believe they've directly addressed the Pokemon. So I've read on how this happened. Apparently someone left a password within like some GitHub fucking folders that were accessible by phishing. 
So, take make of that what you will, but that's what I heard. So, yeah. Though I will say, I had money on law being about Gardevoir. Octillery <laughs> wasn't on the bingo card. Octillery really wasn't on the bingo card. There's also one with Rapid Dash, but that one isn't that one isn't as bad, I would say. It's it's whatever that one compared to the other ones. Fun leaks. Makes you wonder if this is just pure coincidence. If they were hacked back in August, why reveal all this stuff idea. now? No. Kitsu has to read out the best quotes of unhinged fanfics of known franchises and has to guess the franchise afterwards. <laughs> Would also go with Collabant who has the most points win. Community that sounds fun. Collect the gems. That sounds fun. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe we do that. Oh, uh, maybe we'll do that. I miss the old Nintendo. Back oh, in same. the day, they used to run gambling and prostitution rings for the Yakuza and the politicians. Wait, now what? They just regurgitate same old Pokemon every couple years. Wait, what? Well, what? Well, well, they don't what? The, they don't what? Hold on. Yeah. Thanks. What we learned today is that Kitsu is a Pokemon fanfic lore master. At the first, I didn't even want to read them, but then they kept popping up on the Twitter timeline. I was like, you know what? Fine, I'll read it. And bro, that shit's so messed up. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's actually so fucking funny how messed up someone has to be to write this on their work PC, man. Bro. So soon after the Power World lawsuit. Maybe it's a coincidence, but as one trained in the force. You know that true coincidences are rare. I did have like a tinfoil hat theory the other day about it. I forgot what it is. Camarillo, hey! What was the tinfoil hat, uh, theory? Oh my god, that the leaks were, um, meant to happen, kind of. That, 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 that was like an inside job or something. <laughs> Fuck, I did write it on a Discord server. <laughs> I did have my conspiracy theories. I won't share too much about their upcoming projects, like games that they have planned, because, you know, maybe some people watching this just want to wait for official announcements so they can be surprised and hyped and, you know, not have that spoiled for them. But if you want to look that stuff up, well, just be prepared for Nintendo's assassins to show up outside yeah. of your house. Those yeah. are everywhere. Now, there were some innocuous things that got leaked, like beta Pokemon designs from various generations. Oh, we're showing them. Very brave. Really cool. This one kind of looks like Drudagon, Genesect. Oh. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, this, this is Hydreigon. Mm -hmm. Oh! Again, look at look at. Bro, we were up. This bunny is so adorable. Like I love Mudkip, okay, but this bunny is so adorable. Oh, so adorable. Get this shit. Actually, that's like the Floatzel inner tube thing. Is he oh yeah, kind of tube? is. I don't know. This is supposed to be Mudkip though, an early version of Mudkip. I like this Trico. And I think the real Torchic is better. Yeah, the real Torchic is look better. At this early Holy, version. I didn't see this one! Bro, that's so creepy! Mega gross. What unholy what? abomination is this? I'm guessing it was supposed to be like a fossil Pokemon. Jesus Christ! It kind of makes you wish we got some darker, more mature yeah. Pokemon games. Yes! Look at, look at this nightmare fuel. Cacturn. Ugh. It's very interesting looking at this stuff. Oh, that's cute. Some of these early designs, they almost look like Pokemon that came out of that Pokemon fusion thing. I think a lot of this stuff is really cool. I mean, it's, it it's is. always nice to see behind the scenes stuff. It for is, very much. I love behind the scenes I stuff. I have no idea how someone managed to get these ancient files. I mean, pre-release sprites of Gen 3 Pokemon, that, that goes back a few years. But I'm It was one terabyte leak of data, bro. One entire terabyte of uh, data. And as said, yeah, someone left a password somewhere within GitHub information. Something, something. Phishing happened. Something, something. Something, something. I'm also curious as to why Nintendo has never released this stuff officially. Yeah, like, especially, like, the concept art. Like, you know, beta Pokemon? Okay, I understand. Sure, why? That's just a beta. But the concept art? Just, like... Why not? It's really pretty hard. It's such a waste to not do anything with it. I think maybe uh, looking at some of the other leaks will answer that question. One terabyte of data for that age is so much. No, one terabyte of data got leaked this August of all of the Pokemon company. 
It's not just for that age. It's from Gen 1 up until upcoming projects. Question. You know, fans are always hungry for more, but then again, when we look at what else was leaked, maybe the Covenant never should have opened that weapons cache. So one of the leaked Pokemon stories. My reason they don't is they sometimes use the other future designs. I guess, but still, like, make an art book. People love art books. More money, bro. Nintendo, and on one hand, Nintendo loves money. On the other hand, Nintendo hates money. Like, what the fuck? Written by Game Freak was about a girl married a So, this isn't officially canon. Those stories aren't officially canon. They were written by one lunatic woman that apparently kept pushing for them to get, like, put into the game. But uh, Game Freak was like, no, we can't, we can't do this. This is a children's game, bro. What are you doing, woman? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you insane? And she just kept those stories on her work PC. Like, no, those stories are not canon. They're basically fan fiction of an employee. A Pokemon. Ew. Your brother. brother. Ew. What's that? Married <laughs> a Typhlosion. <laughs> Typhlosion? What are you laughing at? Because she was tricked into thinking it was a human and the... And they end up having a child together. Oh! Yeah. Nice. What the fuck? A human Pokemon hybrid. The girl's the child father wasn't a hybrid. finds out and kills the Typhlosion. Boy, that escalated quickly. <laughs> I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It really I did. I think I read and heard it all. But this, this isn't some Vaporian fanfic. This is written by Game Freak. Now, to be <gasps> fair, we don't know what the con- <gasps> Pokemon Mystery Dungeon music! He's giving me PTSD. This music is giving me PTSD. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon are the best Pokemon games out there, man. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, oh, so good, so good. The text of this story is, or if they ever intended on implementing it in a game or something. No, as said, I've heard it was written by one woman. Some of these tales are meant to reflect mythology and folk tales. But That's it, also it's true. It's just very jarring as a Pokemon fan. To me, I'm very dissociated from this. To me, it's just like, oh my god, why the fuck would they do this? This is so messed up. Like, to me, neither Typhlosion, Octillery, Rapidash, or Slacking are ruined for me. Like, not even the fucking Vaporeon copy pasta ruined Vaporeon for me. I don't- I'm just very dissociated from it. It's just like, oh, okay. That's pretty messed up. Moving on. You know? Pokemon Colosseum was my favorite side Pokemon game. I had very good things with Colosseum. I did see an interesting thread about the whole Typhlosion thing on Twitter. If the info is all correct, it's not as horrible as it seems. It's... It's very weird. The story is written very weirdly. Also, you gotta keep in mind that it's translated from Japanese into English. And it might have been written in Japanese slang on top of that. What about God of One Low Bunny? Yeah, like, same. I, I don't give a shit about it. Like, people are gonna sexualize shit nonstop anyway. Like, to me, it's whatever. Pokemon Red Edition, hell yeah. Pokemon Red is awesome. Who's seen this franchise from my childhood to read some of this stuff. I mean, there's some dark stuff in Pokemon, but, you know. Also, I'm a huge Pokemon fan, yeah? I've been playing Pokemon since I'm a kid. I grew up with that shit, so I love Pokemon. But to me, I'm very dissociated from all of this. Like, it's, to me, it's just, I, I can laugh about it. It's funny. Like, it's messed up. It's written on the story, and that person is f uh, fucking messed in their air, but it's still funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's still just fucking funny, like, why would sort of boy having it on their fucking PC, man? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Uh, Lavender Town, best spot to hang out? Lavender Town, bro. Now, some of this stuff, it doesn't hold a candle to Lavender Town. Now, obviously, uh, none of this stuff of... was released, so it's not canon. And yeah, it's for not. good reason, these ideas were left on the cutting room floor. But it is entertaining to make fun of them, as people yeah, have been doing on Twitter. <laughs> there it is. There it is. You know, I, I have the chat logs here. I, I just came here to get some berries. <laughs> How it feels to be a Typhlosion fan right here. Yeah, what, whatever you do, don't 
Don't look up the slack off story. Don't, don't oh, that one's messed up. up. That's sad. Oh. Yeah, that one's pretty again, messed. That's the worst one. Demonetized if I read some of this. I wonder if me summarizing it is going to demonetize me. If it does get me demonetized, I will, I will have to uh, cut it out if it does. But yeah. So at the end of the day, I think Pokemon fans are reasonably shocked by some of these revelations, all of this shit coming out at once. I'm not sure how to feel about the leaks. Part of me is happy to see some of the old concept art and scrapped Pokemon designs from the games I yeah, love. Yeah, it's very interesting to see. behind the scenes stuff. And I think it's really cool same, to same, get same. an inside look at the design process. See early concept art for one Pokemon and then compare it to the final design. But yeah, the other part <laughs> What the fuck was Torchic, Early man, man? Art like for one Pokemon and then compare it to Like this Torchic? I'm so happy design. they uh, they improved upon that design, man. Like what the fuck is this? What are those ear flaps? Um, it's so bad. The other part of me wishes I could live in a world where I still thought Typhlosion was a cool Pokemon. Regardless, these leaks <laughs> come at a very interesting time where Nintendo is dealing with the major lawsuit against the competitor and <laughs> I think this is just going to piss them off. <laughs> and so it Oh, oh, it looks like they're getting some ammo delivered. Okay. Um, oh, if oh I no. If I mysteriously disappear, I, think... I didn't take my own life. Just just remember that. Just remember that. But what do you think about the recent <laughs> I think I'm a high two. Too. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe I also to the didn't do it myself. Awesome if anything happens right, to everyone, me. That's all I got for today. This is the end. Signing out. Peace. Tango day. <laughs> Oh, good as video, man. Good as video. Hey, kids, you like the English, German, or Japanese names of the Pokemon more? So I grew up with the German ones. Um, now I've been playing Pokemon for years in English, and I've been consuming media in English. So most of the times I try to refer to them in English. Kids who getting cancelled IRL. No! Please, no! Can we watch the Space Marine one next? No. No. Uh, seems like I'm on the oddball here who has only played Pogo from the franchise. Pogo is fine. The only reason I play Pogo is because you can transfer the Pokemon to the Switch games. Nintendo sitting in the private military. Oh god. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. That. That. That will do it. See ya, YouTube. See ya.